Okay, for this additional example, it says uh, the figure shows a person and a cow each uh, radial distance, uh, capital D, uh, from the point where the lighting of a current uh, I strike the ground. Uh, uh, when light, uh, the current spreads through the ground uniformly over a hemisphere. This is a bunch of The person's feet are separated by radial distance, uh, delta R pearl, uh, delta R pearl uh, 0.5 meter. And the crowd front and rear hooves are separated by uh, radial uh, distance. Delta R cow, uh, 1.5 meter. Okay, 前后脚1.5米。那这个人把腿张开0.5米。Uh, the resistivity of the ground is uh, rho equals 100 ohm per meter. And the resistance of both uh, across the person between the left and right feet and across the cow and uh, between the front and rear hoof is uh, 4K ohm. Okay, so uh, this part is uh, 4K ohm. 4K ohm. This is... Uh, also assumed to be 4K ohm. Okay. So, yeah. so it asks what is the current I pearl through the person? Okay, through the through the person like this, okay. Uh, okay, so uh, so first of all we can actually calculate E equals uh, rho ground uh, J, okay, using the vector form of the Ohm's law. So it is actually rho ground J will be uh, I over 2 pi R square. Okay, why 2 pi R square? 2 pi R square is the surface surface area of the hemisphere. This is the surface就是说它这个电这么打下来所以一开始这个是一个点的那它越扩散的话这个表面积会越来越大所以是这个I除以那这个就是那个current Okay, so delta V will be negative integration of uh, E D R and then the R is from D to D plus delta R. Okay. So woman Z fan the This is the R axis. Okay, start to integrate from capital D to this point will be D plus delta R. Yeah, actually. This is this is delta R. Okay, so I just write it as delta R, so it can be used for the R curves and R crowds. Okay. So in such a way, we can substitute an integration of uh, e. E will be this expression. So we have a rho ground times R over two pi R squared, and then d R from d to d plus delta R. Okay, so most of the things are, are constant. This is constant, this is constant, this is constant. Uh, okay, so only R square, R square in the denominator. So finally, it becomes rho ground uh, I over 2 pi. Okay, okay, times, okay, integration of. Uh, 1 over r squared dr. Okay, so this is negative 2. Okay, so divide by negative 1, so it becomes a positive 1 over r and evaluate from d to d plus delta r. Uh, delta r. Okay, so it becomes rho, uh, sorry, rho ground i over 2 pi and then 1 over d plus delta r minus 1 over d. Okay, so it finally becomes a negative number. Rho ground i over 2 pi and then times delta r over d times d plus delta r. Yeah, because we actually integrate from here to here and then in such a way the 
the current the current is uh, in this direction. The, actually, I mean the J is in this direction. So, which means that this side will have a higher potential, this one will have a low potential. But if we have integrate from this side, it is somehow like integrate from the positive side to the negative side. So, this number is a negative number. But anyway, we can actually calculate this uh, for, the, for the person. Okay, so we have a I person will be uh, absolute value of delta V over, over R. Okay. We already know that R is a uh, 4K ohm. Okay, so in such a way we have uh, we have this we have this expression put in here. Okay, so rho rho ground will be 100, uh, 100 times I I is this one uh, 100 K times 10 to the third power and then over 2 pi over 2 pi and then times uh, uh, delta R pearl is uh, 0 0.5 and then this is uh, uh, D is 60 meter so we have 60 plus 0 0.5 and times 60 okay we have D times this one and then we have all the things divided by R which is uh, 4k so 4 times 10 to the third power Okay, so this number is zero point zero five four eight a fifty four mda fifty four mda going through the person. <coughs> okay, so yeah, so we just uh, make use of uh, what we learned in chapter twenty four, and then do some integration, and also make use of this uh, vector form of the Ohm's law. And then for part B, what is the current I tau through the tau? So actually we can just make use of this expression. We just replace yeah, this delta R to be delta R tau and then all the things will be the same. So we can quickly go to I tau equals 100 times uh, 100 times 10 to the third power over 2 pi all these parts are the same and the only difference is that we use delta r count which is a 1.5 over 60 time, times 60 plus 1.5 this is the only difference and then multiply by 1 over r which is 1 over 4 times 10 to the third power okay so this is uh, similar thing and then this is uh, 0.126a okay so we can see that this number is slightly larger okay because we just we just assume that okay this distance this is this one is smaller this distance is larger but we assume that the the resistance is the same okay so there will be more current going through there will be more current going through so in such a way yeah, because here we will, we will have a we will have a longer distance here. So the so the delta v delta v is uh, slightly larger. Delta v cow is actually three times to the delta v person. Okay. So in such a way, with the same resistance, same resistance, there will be larger current going through the cow rather than the rather than the person. Okay, okay, so let's take a look at another one. So it says, what is the current in a wire of radius R? In the magnitude of current density is given by this uh, non-uniform current density. So it reaches a radial distance J0 equals this number. Okay, so IA, IA will be uh, integration of JA dA. Okay, just make use of the definition of the current density. Okay, in such a way we have a we have a double integral. Okay, so JA will be J zero times R over capital R. Okay, so which means that this current density is uh, proportional to the to the radius. Uh, to the radius okay to the radius let's say uh, 
this is R, this is R, this is uh, capital R. <coughs> Okay. So in such a way, we have uh, we, we we have a polar uh, polar coordinate for this uh, cross section because this is a it is a cylinder or a circle for the cross section. So in such a way, we have a uh, dA. Uh, if you still remember, dA is r d r d theta. Okay, I have uh, talked about it last time, so. Uh, don't repeat again, so this is R D R D data. <coughs> and then we integrate from zero to capital R for the for the D R and D theta will be from zero to two pi. Okay, so in such a way this is separable, so the integration will be easy. We just put all the constant thing outside and uh, we separate the R to be here. We have R and R, so we have R squared, <coughs> and we integrate from zero to capital R, and then we have d theta from zero to two pi. <coughs> so in this case, this is R cube over three. This is two pi. So finally, we have a. Uh, 2 pi r squared over 3 times j0 <coughs> Okay, so finally we can plug in all the numbers 2 pi times uh, r is uh, this one 3.4 times 10 to negative third power square and then over 3 and then times J0, J0 is this one, 5.5 uh, times 10 to the 4th power. Okay, so finally it is uh, 1.338. Okay, so this uh, additional example just uh, let you yeah, try to familiar with how to use the double integral. Yeah, double integral. Okay, for part B, yeah, the the current density is a little bit different. Uh, it is J zero times one minus R over capital R. Okay, but actually the step are quite similar. So I B will be <coughs> integration of J B D A. So it will be integration integration and then J zero one minus R over capital R. Okay, so this is J B. And then for dA it is similar, uh, dR times dR times d theta. Okay, so dR is from 0 to capital R, and theta is from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so actually, this one is actually R minus R over R. Okay, so still we try to put out all the constant things, J0 over capital R. And then we have a, a function of small r, which will be r times capital R minus r. Okay, so this is a function of small r from 0 to capital R. And then we still have a d theta from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so similarly, this is, uh, this is, this is 2 pi. And then for this one, Okay, R is a constant, so this is integrating an R will be R squared over 2. So we have a R cubed over 2, and then here we have a small R squared. Small R squared integration will be a negative R cubed over 3, okay, something like this. So all together, this is uh, R cubed over 6, okay. So finally, we will have uh, this 2 and this 6 will be cancelled, so finally uh, this R and this R cube can be party cancelled. So we will have uh, pi R squared J0 over 3, something like this, a little bit different from the previous one. But actually we can just plug in all the numbers, pi and then times 3.4 times 10 to the negative third power squared times uh, 5.5 times 10 to the fourth power 
of uh, 3. So this number will be 0.6678. A. Yeah, which is smaller than the Hilbert's one. Yeah, actually, the half. Okay, the the expression here is pi r square over uh, <coughs> pi r square j c over three. And uh, for the Hilbert's one, it is uh, it has this uh, factor of two. Yeah. Okay, so for part C, it asks you which function maximize the current density near the wire surface. Okay, so the the answer is clearly J A for for part C. Uh, J A uh, maximize uh, the current density. The J uh, near the wire uh, surface uh, near the surface. Because when we consider this, J A is uh, J A is uh, J zero times R over capital R, and if we just put R to be capital R, then it would be J zero. But for J B is uh, J zero one minus R over capital R. When we put R to be capital R, then this one R over R will be one one minus one will be zero. So this one. Will be zero, so it actually minimizes the current density near the surface. Okay, so for the third one, so for the third one, so wire section one of a diameter d one, and the wire section two of diameter d two, connected by a taper section. Okay, so two, two, uh, the wire is uh, copper and carry a current. Assume that the current is uniform distributed across the cross section. This is in the diagram. The electric voltage is uniform. Of course, it is different. This 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 J1 and this J2 are different. But this one is the same current density. Okay, the electric potential change V along the length L shown in section two is ten mil volt, and the number of charge carrier per unit volume is uh, this number. What is the drift speed of the conduction electron in section one? Okay, so we just uh, make use of uh, some of the formula we learned in this chapter. So first of all, uh, we know more thing about the uh, the section two, so we may be able to calculate. E two to be uh, V over L, okay, which is ten times ten to the negative six over two, which is uh, five mu uh, V over L. Okay, so we we know the electric field, electric field magnitude at the section two first, and then J two will be E two over rho, yeah, according to the a vector form of the Ohm's law, so we have a uh, five times ten to negative six over uh, rho. Rho is this number, one point six nine times ten to negative eight, so which will be two hundred and ninety six a per meter squared. Okay, so this is the current density J two uh, in uh, section two. And as much as the charge is conserved, so we will have uh, J one A one equals J two uh, A two, because uh, we will have uh, I one equals I two. Uh, so this is due to the KCL. Uh, due to the KCL. So we have uh, this equation. So in such a way, we can calculate J one to be J two times uh, A two over A one. Okay, actually we already know uh, J2 is 296 and then A2 A2 is A2, we actually know the diameter D1 is 4R, D2 is 2R Okay, so actually uh, D, uh, A2, A2 will be pi R squared and then uh, A1 will be 4 pi R squared okay. So pi r square will cancel, so finally it becomes a 74 a per meter square. Okay, we also know j1, 
the value of j1. So finally, we can use vd equals j1 over ne uh, to recalculate the drift velocity. So this is uh, 74 over uh, 8149 times 10 to the 38th power and then E will be 1.6 times 10 to minus 19 okay so this drift velocity will be 5.44 times 10 to negative 9 meter per second okay so yeah just a number <laughs> Okay, so finally we conclude chapter 26. <coughs> okay, so and actually we we actually finished the electrostatics.